So Ramadan Karim to all our Muslim brothers and sisters. We forgot to greet them. Also to you, Laja. <laughs> I was even waiting to discuss it. To <laughs> so to all of those, um, fasting has started. Let's start with uh, the nation as usual. Workers draw battle line over lingering Naira scarcity. LP wins Abia, PDP takes Inugu. Alleged cocaine deal, court rejects Abakiari's orders, requests to avoid charges. Seven in battle for Senate president. Article to court, declare me winner or order a rerun. President elect for Paris, London, Saudi Arabia. 19 Lagos train bus accident, victim still on admission. Facial recognition technology for major airports. Okay, which story are we starting with? Should I do the major headline? Um, okay. Workers yesterday vowed to stay at home until further notice, starting next week. According to them, they, said they can no longer pay for transportation. And the Nigerian Labour Congress uh, has directed all its affiliates across the nation to mobilize for the picketing of central bank offices across the nation, including the headquarters in Abuja. According to them, they've asked their workers to stay at home to enable them to join the picketing exercise. But the Apex Gun hinted yesterday about plans to flood the banks, hopefully with old Naira notes from today. The Naira crisis has also worsened um, quite a bit of gender inequalities and made women poorer, according to the Minister of Women and, um, um, and uh, Women Affairs, um, Dame Pauline Talent. She was saying that um, she, has, she said as good as the cashless and Naira design may be, the ramifications of um, have caused millions of women to have been left behind because usually when you get to banks, some, in, some, in some areas, men are often preferred or they are, they are preferred to give them the Naira to. Talent said that inequality is exas as, as, as exasperated uh, by the new monetary policy and as we go cashless, it's making it worse for women. And so well, we're hoping that CBN indeed floods the market today. And between now and next, when this weekend, there'll be enough cash in the system so that hopefully NLC may be able to call off their nationwide strike. Okay. Yes, I've got um, the federal government is set to install facial recognition technology at major airports in Nigeria. So we had the Minister of State for Budget National Planning, Prince Clem Ikana Daagba. He met with the um, Japanese ambassador to Nigeria. I, I want to say the name, Masunaga Kazuyoshi. Um, they came with a team, um, NEC Corporation of Japan to Abuja, and they discussed you know, the plans for security at our airports. And the minister said that they've had series of meetings since January, you know, with Tokyo, and they're happy how far we've come. And they're saying that by the pilot phase, would we'll, uh, focus on Lagos and Abuja International Airport. Thereafter, it will be extended to Port Harcourt, Enugu, and Kano Airport. So it's facial recognition. Uh, I guess now when you go through our airports, they would have those... Um, devices that will be able to flag maybe terrorists or criminals or wanted people. I think that's a step yeah. in the right direction. Okay, so I have the story of those <coughs> vying for Senate president. So um, the nation says about seven are already in the battle. Three of them are Barao Jibrin from Kanu Northwest, Kanu, uh, that's Kanu North, uh, that is in the Northwest, and Ojik Uzokalu from the Southeast, Abia North, and David Umayi, the former governor from uh, Boy South, um, Southeast as well. And these three already have come out to the news and in the public to declare their seats. Other interested people are the uh, uh, Jibrin, the Chairman Senate Committee on Appropriation, Umayi, okay, sorry, um, uh, the former Senate, the present Senate President, Ahmed Lawan, oh. the, chairman, um, the Chairman Senate Services Committee, Mohamed Sani Musa, um, Alun Dume, uh, who is from Bono, Northeast, mm. and the former Niger Delta Minister and Gov uh, Senator Godswill Akbabio. And all of them are interested, but the APC chairperson had said everybody should wait until the party's zoning arrangement is concluded. But I, you know, yesterday mentioned that uh, the chief whip, the present chief whip of the house, has the highest ranking and has done well over the years and also played the politics that is required from him. And this, I believe is also the turn of the Southeast as Senate president. I don't think we should be having 
Northerners at all feature in this arrangement, so I think they should also. Okay, another that. story in the nation. Any other story? Yeah, the um, minister, the commissioner for health for Lagos State, was talking about the um, patients that have been discharged okay. from the um, hospital from the train accident. Sorry, and um, it, uh, 77 of them had been discharged. Um, he says they lost six, and 19 are still in the hospital, mm. and. They are receiving treatment. As at um, March 22nd, which was yesterday, they had successfully um, discharged 77 from various hospitals. And um, at the whole, all the, there were 85 passengers on the bus and 17 associated with the accident. I'm right. guessing maybe people. Bystanders. Bystanders, yeah. So. Okay. Anyway. Really sad. The punch. NLC protests CBN to flood banks with old Naira notes today. 146 Amen. National Assembly candidates petition tribunals in 12 states. Buhari Islamic Council preach love as Ramadan begins. FEC okays 454 billion Naira for Kano Niger Republic real others. Picture here of Buhari Oshimba Jobasanjo Clinton others hail Elumilu at 60. UK to list electoral offenders, plans sanctions, Tinubu away for lesser age and rest, says aid. Jubilation as OT wins, Abia, PDP retains Enugu. All right, so yesterday was lots and lots of celebrations for um, Tony Lumelu. He missed Tony for his 60th birthday. Mm. He got lots of um, commendations from the president, the vice president, the former president of Basso and Joe, and even the former president of the United States, Bill Clinton. And the Right Honorable Femi Bajabia Mila, he, he um, Buario said in his good message that, that um, Lumilu benevolence typifies his humble background and upbringing, starting out as a young banker daring to dream of a modern, technologically friendly financial institution, which was um, Standard Trust Bank, leading one of the biggest mergers in UBA, which made history. Um, also, uh, Vice President Shibajo also said that this is indeed a milestone anniversary, one that calls for enormous gratitude to the Almighty God for grace that they bestowed upon him. And then Bill Clinton, I have to say Bill Clinton's own. Bill Clinton said that from your successful career in business to your amazing work with Tony Illumilu Foundation, you have accomplished so very much throughout your first remarkable six decades. But Jabia Miller and others also sent their wishes. So congratulations mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. to an icon, the yes. Tony Illumilu the Founder of um, the you know, looking at the picture I of, just, um, with all the people around him, it just reminded me of the Bible passage that says, "Success has many, many friends." I mm. mean, imagine if it was not success, they would be looking for mm. one person they won't find. But look at how he's surrounded by everyone. And I love his good. family. The very, very cute, nice family. It's a good story. He has a yeah, good has story. A very good story. story. This, is a, this is a man that is worth. He only has one child. No, no, he's got. Uh, yeah, I think, I think he even has younger twins. Yeah. No, is it twins or triplets? Yeah. Oh, triplets, triplets, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still uh, reviewing papers. We yeah. had a story in point. Yeah, appreciate the um, good messages starting Ramadan. So the Sultan of Sokoto, who is the um, President General of the Nigerian Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, has announced the beginning of Ramadan with the sighting of the new moon, and is enjoyed that Muslims should devote themselves fully to the worship during the month. President Muhammad Buhari has used the opportunity to call Muslims to preach love and, you know, um, devote themselves to love of, to, for humanity during this month as well. The Senate president, and, you know, just as expected, and I want to use the opportunity to say this is the month that we uh, sort of renew ourselves. So Muslims should take full advantage of it. I'm looking to the last 10 days as well to be off. I'm offline now, off social media, and looking to the last 10 days to be off radar as well. Mm. So, okay. 140, 146 National Assembly candidates have petitions in 12 states. So, yeah, that's in punch. Um, um, they are Oyo, um, Undo, Plato, Edo, Kwara, Ogun, Bayelsa, Oshun, Ekiti, Bauchi, Lagos, and Niger. I don't know if I've missed any, but yeah. those are um, the aggrieved candidates. They have all filed their petitions. Uh, in Lagos, uh, 25 in Lagos, in Ogun, 11, Niger. Uh, what 11, are those? Hmm? Petitions for what exactly? Election petitions. Election petitions. Election petitions. Right, let's move on. Not the, happy with the results. the results of the elections. Daily Sun, cash, cash, scarcity, NLC said to cripple CBN offices. 
Election, we are collating information to punish offenders, says UK. INEC declares OT, Mba, winners in Abia and Enugu. Seplat Energy slams 5 billion naira on XMD and Ojiako firm. Outcome of elections justifies Biafra agitation, says IPOB. Senate President, we want Carlo to douse tension in Southeast, says group. Yari others lose bids to quash um, drug trafficking charges. And presidential election, I didn't betray OB, says Wiki. Right, which story are we starting with? So, how about Kerry? Yes, um, you remember the former uh, Deputy Commissioner of Police? Yep, who you know him. Who's being prosecuted by INEC for being involved in about 17.55 kg no, of sack. cocaine. No, uh, uh, did I say no, no, I, Sorry, NDLA. NDLA <laughs> I said NDLA, INEC. sorry. <laughs> election don't scatter our head. <laughs> NDLA for, you know, for his uh, conspiracy and the deal that he had within, uh, with that... Uh, and unlawfully tampering with about 21 kg of cocaine as well. He's been trying to get his matter quashed, but the court refused uh, his bid. And so he has to come in and defend that matter fully. Now, I'm hoping to see... On what um, grounds is he asking for the thing to be uh, You know, the first thing they do is say, no case submission and see if that... Uh, and then so. also, one of the things he said was that the... Uh, NDLED allowed the police to do its, its due diligence before they arrested. over. But people are saying that the police are going on. It was not you. Reversing, mm. reversing. They want to win anything. Really doing really not to and the NDLA well. is a legal body, mm. legitimate body to do that. So, so okay. um, political story here. River State Governor Yeson Wiki um, has said that uh, he, he did not, that Nigerian youth have um, accused, you know, they accused Wiki of betraying former Anambra State Governor and um, allowing for obese loss in River State. Uh, he said during an interview that the LP candidate and all those who have that sentiment are being ungrateful. He said he recalls that he was the one that picked Obi in 2019 to be the running mate to Atiku, uh, even though it was against the wishes of some prominent PDP chieftains at the time. He says, I take exception to Peter Obi's comments that I came out against him. People are not being sincere. People are not appreciative. In 2019, ask Peter Obi. I was one of the teams that chose Obi to be the vice presidential candidate for Alaji Atiku Abubakar. He said that they met at Atiku Abubakar's house and the names were given and he picked the name and that uh, he said he fought people like Ike Kuremadu, David Mai, Pius Aim, and yet all the blame is, is on him. And then he also called out the national chairman of the party. He says that that one, that he lost even his own polling unit. That how can you be a national chairman of a party and cannot win your own party? After all, all these little um, uh, um, groups are the ones that make up the nation. Both, both yeah, parties' but national chairman could not deliver their polling unit. And, and, and nobody is accusing him mm. of not supporting him in 2019. Mm. They are accusing him of 2023. Mm. That's they what he's saying. He's uh, saying that I have, have had a history of supporting him. Why would I not support him now? Is what he's saying. Okay, All but right. he never came out to openly support but anybody. Anybody, mm. yes. He was careful to do that. Okay, the United Kingdom said that um, they were collating information with in view to take action against individuals and groups who undermine democrat democratic process uh, referencing the last elections. According to them, um, it would include those who engage in inciting electoral violence and other anti-democratic behaviors. They did applaud um, INEC during the governorship, saying that um, they said there were more polling units opened on time and that there were greater evidence of beavers and IREV working and results uploaded in real time for polling units and collision centers. These were positive, positive markers um, to build on for future elections. However, they did observe uh, physically also that um, there were lots of credible reports from other observer missions and civil society about the intimidation, voters' intimidation, um, destruction, hijacking of election materials, and general disruption of the entire process. Mm. Um, they said that we observed incidents of harassment of journalists, freedom of speech, and free press were crucial to a healthy democracy. However, they are collating the names of those who be, they believe incited and they will take actions against them when visa actions against them concerning their visas going to the UK going forward. That's, that's a good thing. Let's move on now to Vanguard. INEC used third-party device to switch results for Tinubu's article. 
polls will take action against electoral violence, instigator says UK government. Ramadan begins today, says Sultan. Tinubu not qualified to be sworn in as president, says Dati. I regret my actions, says grandma, who set son family ablaze. Mm. Drug trafficking charge, court declines to stop Abakiari's trial. Terrorists kill 51 Zamfara vigilantes, abandon corpses in bushes. And jubilation as OT wins in Abia, Pitamba emerges in Onugu. All right, which story are we taking? Um, let me Grand take the grandmother. Grandma. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, she had, the story was in the papers yesterday, she had burnt her son and her family, um, daughter-in-law daughter alive, saying, but she's now saying she regrets her action. She regrets not making sure the daughter and the son slept in separate bedrooms. That it was the daughter she was targeting, not her son. Hmm. And that the daughter used, um, the daughter-in-law, daughter -in sorry, hmm. served, uh, didn't give her food, you treated her, and so it's not really, she's in hospital, she too was injured though. Mm -hmm. She's in hospital. The and children the grandchildren children children have survived. Oh, they, they survived. Both of them. Why didn't they realize? Both of them, yeah. Oh, fantastic. They, they, they oh, she, her son died. Her son, her son died. died. The daughter-in-law died. She's left her grandchildren mm. off. Mm. Uh, it's her son. Her second son that even came to take her, take her. That's, away that's from... That's rescued her. Yeah. So that's the one that is paining me. She had an option. Mm. She didn't have to carry out that evil. She had... You know, she, it seemed like she was her only son's house. She was helpless and all of that. But she had somewhere else she could go. She didn't have to kill people. But you see, she's 76, one. Two, have you thought of the mental... The dementia. Uh, if agree, she has dementia or she's... Because that, that kind of person, you need to me. take her for medical... Evaluation. Evaluation first. Yeah. Mental evaluation. Because the regret she is having is that, that her son died inside. Hey, oh. She's still not regressing that she killed somebody. It's so exactly. So are you she sure she's normal? She can't be normal. She isn't. A very sad story has happened in Zamfara State. Uh, in Maru local government area of the state. They said on election day, um, that was March 18th, that uh, no fewer than 51 local vigilante members were killed and their corpses have been left in the bushes. They have been unable to bury them because of the fear of the killer gangs that parade their communities. Um, they said that... Um, that these um, vigilantes come from like about three communities. They put them together, you know, to help. Everybody knows the story of that of uh, Zamfara and the communities that yeah. are being constantly um, ransacked and, you know, decimated by terrorists. And so these people have put together this group of vigilantes to help protect them. They killed, they wiped them all out, 51 of them. And um, the communities say that they have spoken to the police about it or they have reported, but nothing has been done about the bodies of these people. Uh, but when they spoke to the police, they said they haven't gotten any information. And the Zafra Commissioner for Information also said he had not even heard about the matter. It was so sad that, you know, Ni regular Nigerians are putting their lives on the line to protect their people. And they die like that. I think the, the most decent thing is at least give them a proper burial. Uh, let me just wrap up and cheer us up a bit with the news from Abia State. So the INEC yesterday at um, around five declared Alex Uti of the Labour Party winner and there was massive jubilation around across the, the country. Uh, across the country and particularly the in Abia State. Also they declared the Mumba um, winner, Peter Mumba winner of the uh, Enugu State um, elections as well. Apparently the um, Alex Uti has been trying. This yeah. yes, was like his third time. Yeah. Mm. He tried three times before. Yes. Under the same party or different parties? No, no, different parties. parties. Yeah. From but I'm happy, I'm happy for them, especially now because PDP was had control of that state for many years. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that they've been able to, to get a new governor. Okay, that is all we can take on front page review.